Let's talk for a minute about the formation of the Rakuten Symphony Unit. I think that that it can be, you know, how we wrap up the show. Um, but I think that there's an important role there in terms of accelerating ecosystem adoption of Open RAN and that sort of thing. So touch on that for us, will you? Yes, I think it's a very smart move from Rakuten because it concentrates all these key assets we've touched on, certainly RCP, but also the newly acquired Open RAN assets, as well as their international telco assets into one unit uh, headed by their high profile CTO, Tariq Amin. So that I think is definitely a, a powerful combination. And this is just demonstrating like how committed Rakuten is to really moving the needle across the 5G ecosystem. It's through the Symphony unit that they can better sell into right. international markets, that they have a broader portfolio now, that now they've combined all these pieces together. Because before they acquired Altiostar, they acquired a company called NOI. And that's actually another company based in the US, and they've successfully integrated that into their RCP that enabled digital operations. And so, you know, uh, definitely Rakuten is showing that they're adept at this. And that uh, when it comes to integrating LTO Star, uh, which is also US based, they already have experience here. They already have that close relationship. So, all this is going to be, you know, definitely uh, kickstarting. Uh, you know, the Symphony Unit's ability to, you know, present a clearly differentiated portfolio and sell it to other international markets beyond the ones that we talked about. Uh, obviously, right. Germany is another one that they can add uh, to their list of success. But I'll be interested to see where else, you know, they can actually make this uh, profound difference. Already they're doing it in the U.S. Now they have a relationship with DISH through the Altio Star acquisition, but also they're working again. Uh, with Legato, the satellite-based 5G network, and so forth. So this is uh, going to be, uh, again, uh, the 5G Olympics. You know, who's going <laughs> to rack up the most gold medals here over the next uh, 12 to 24 months? And it's looking pretty good for uh, Rakuten at this point. I think it is looking really good for Rakuten at this point. And I feel like, you know, in, in many ways, this is a smart company throwing down the gauntlet. And I think it's exciting. And look at all the different things that they're doing on all these different fronts and just think, you know, this is amazing. And I cannot wait to see what the other players in this ecosystem, in this market do. Um, you know, like you said, there's just never, I, I think there's never, a, a dearth of exciting <laughs> goings on. And, and I, that's not going to change anytime soon, given what we know for sure no. is happening My as it goodness. relates to 5G. <laughs> yeah, absolutely.